All right, let's have a look at problem 402. Remove key digits. So for this problem, again, we are going to share a monotonic stack solution. So we have seen a number of such problems. I guess it might be a good idea to put all these problems together so that we can study them in a focused way. So for this problem, I will first read through the statement of the problem and then look at the examples and the constraints. Then we will look at the method and the main ideas. Finally, we share the code and make connections of the code with the ideas and the uh, edge cases. So uh, let's first look at the statement of the problem. So given string called num, representing a non-negative integer num and an integer k. So return the smallest possible integer after removing k digits from num. So this is a short statement of the problem. So actually, when we read this uh, statement for problem 402, actually it reminds me strongly the problem 316. Uh, so it's good to have a comparison of these two problems. So let's look at the examples. So in example one, so we have uh, this number. So we need to delete three digits from them. So uh, we get one, two, one, nine. So actually the digits according to our solution that are deleted are four, three, and the two here, the second two. So this is the three letters that are to be deleted. Three, uh, four, three, and the two, the second two. So we get one, two, one, nine. So this is example one. We will come into details for this example. For example two, the digit that is deleted is the first leading digit. Therefore, we get a string. 0, 2, 0, 0. So the numerical value is 200. So um, for example 3, so the digits we are going to de uh, delete are 1 first and then 0. So essentially we are left with an uh, empty string. So the numerical value corresponding to that is set to be 0. Um, so the constraints about this problem are as follows. First, the uh, string can have a length up to 10 to the power fifth. So in other words, we couldn't uh, try all the possible deletion strategies, then compare and get the smallest uh, uh, number. So second, num consists of only digits. Uh, that should be the case. And the third one is num does not have any leading zeros except for the zero itself. So that's mean, that's basically meaning num represents a good number. So um, for this problem, the constraint that are important for us is the first one. Um, here we are going to share a solution using monotonic stack. So uh, here we are trying to maintain a locally increasing stack. So the idea is follow, as follows. So when we look at a current digit during the linear scan of the num string, so we try to maintain a locally increasing stack. So if we still have room when we look at the current digit uh, to do deletions, so when we try to delete digit to the left, um, the reason is that the more left, the more significant uh, their value. So uh, we're going to delete digits left to the current digit and greater than the current digit. So that's the full strategy. Essentially, it's a sort of greedy method. So for example, in this string, we have uh, just a big uh, list for clarity. So we have, we have one, four, five, and three. So assume that we have one deletion a lot. So when we look at a three, so the stack has state 145, then we delete 5, we remain 143. 
So if k equals 2, we continue to delete 4, because 4 is greater than 3. But we try to not, uh, try not uh, deleting um, 1, because 1 is less than 3, right? So that's the, basically the logic. So here are some edge cases. So if after traversing the num string, uh, we still do not delete all key digits a lot. So we shall drop the proper number of digits remained from the end of the stack. For example, in example three here. So after the traversal, actually we delete one, just one character. We need to delete another one. But in this case, it's okay. It's oh, any case, it, anyway, it's zero. <laughs> so um, before we share the code, so we do recommend to try this problem, problem 315, uh, problem uh, 739, and so on. So we can try to solve them using exactly the same idea. So now with that said, let's look at the code for this problem. So first, I will make some preparation as before. So here the <laughs> preparation is simple. Basically, we are going to initialize a stack uh, to track um, the uh, remaining numbers. So um, for second step, we are going to traverse and scan the num string and uh, try to do deletions. So as we mentioned in the main idea, we try to delete larger numbers to the left of a character or, or not character, a digit. So because the left digit is more significant. So for this, basically we are trying to iterate for digit in num. So what we want to do is that it's a standard uh, monotone, uh, monotonic uh, stack, a while loop, while the stack is not empty and the stack top is larger than the current digit. Then we are going to make deletions. So if we stop here for the while loop conditions, uh, this is the standard monotonic um, stack loop condition. But here we want we need to make sure we are still allowed to delete characters or delete digits. So the condition is that and key is greater than zero. So this is the room we are left for, uh, right? So with that said, if this key is greater than zero, we are going to pop stack, pop. Each time when we do a pop, we are going to decrement key by one. That's a natural thing to do, right? So afterwards, we are going to stack append this current digit. The reason is that while well, we see the next digit, so in after the while loop, either the stack is um, empty or the stack top is less or equal than the current digit. So when we add this digit, current digit, we are maintaining a locally uh, increasing stack when we look at the next digit. So that's why we see in the idea that we uh, look at a current digit in the linear scan, and then we uh, we try uh, we try to maintain a uh, locally increasing stack uh, right before the current uh, digit we are looking at. So that's um, that's the um, main idea, and uh, so now uh, this part takes care of the main idea. But now, after this uh, for loop, so we are going to look at the edge cases. So if um, uh, if we haven't finished uh, finished deleting all key digits uh, required by the problem, what we want to do is that we update the stack. So we are going to drop the remaining um, room for deletion. So we are going to stack. So we are just up to the negative key. The key actually ha may have a different state than the original state, right? So in this case, uh, this 
uh, this guy will contain um, the digits after we delete full k digits. k is the original k. So if k is greater than zero, right? If k is greater than zero, meaning that we haven't finished deleting all the k characters after the uh, traversal. Otherwise, so it's just the original stack. So that's the case. And finally, we do the return. So when we do the return, actually, we still need to pay special attention. Because if we delete, for example, in example 2, we delete 1, we are remaining 0, 2, 0, 0. There is a leading 0. Basically, we need to trim all the zeros, all the leading zeros. So this is easily done in, by the trim, uh, trim, uh, trim uh, function in Python. So basically, we want to join um, the same, join what? Join the, um, so first, maybe I'll do something like this to make it more clear. So the, we first uh, do something like this. Let's join the final stack. So we are getting a string which potentially contains leading zeros. Then we just do left strip. The left strip will drop all the leading zeros. And otherwise, if it's empty after drawing uh, leading zeros, so we're going to return uh, zero string. Let's see. This is the required by the problem, right? So with that said, I guess mm, it's mm, time to do some uh, special case check. So let's do it. Yeah, it passes um, the first case. Let's try the second case. It passes the second case. You know, it uh, has already trimmed trimmed the leading zero. So now let's look at the a third one. So here we are required to delete two um, digits. So we are going to get a empty string and we are going to return a string with a zero. So with that said, let's check for generic case. Yeah, it passes the generic case. Mm, I guess um, for now, let's give a quick uh, summary. Before we do the summary, so this um, are some detailed walkthrough for the three examples. For example, this is for example one, the state of the stack and the key state. And uh, uh, this is for example two and finally for example three so um, overall the code here actually corresponding exactly to the idea and the procedure and the edge cases so essentially we are translating the idea and the procedure and edge cases into code um, i guess the video is running sort of long that's about it Thank you very much.